told me that when I was a kid. So today is your day, guys. We're going to learn more about God today because we're praising and worshiping him, kid style. And we're going to learn more about each kid from God's point of view because they're going to get encouragement and blessing all today. We're celebrating you. And it's so exciting for moms and dads and teachers and everybody in the church because we've, some of you, we've seen you since, well, since you were in your mommy's tummy. And some of you are just growing up. We're so proud of how you're growing up. And today is our day to tell you we love what God's doing in you. We love the plans he has for you. And we're not waiting till later. We're, we're definitely engaged and connecting with God now for everything he wants to do now. Right? All right. Pastor Dawn. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi, Judy. You're welcome. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, so, um, all right, all the adults have the clappers. <laughs> this is for you kids. At the end, well, the adults, you have to give away your clappers to the kids. Except for some of you, well, unless we have enough, do we? we have tons. Oh, we have tons. Oh, good. But if you, go, if you go crazy, you might break them. They really were reasonably priced. Okay, <laughs> so just saying. But um, you can... I'm already mic'd. Oh, thank you. That's much easier. Okay, so now for the adults, when I'm preaching, you could go ahead and do that <laughs> so I can have some feedback finally. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm very excited about today. This was, I said I was going to celebrate every single person in this church, and today, children, I'm celebrating you. Yay! And you're so valuable, and you're so important to all of us. And so we do special things, and we have special things just for you, because we want you to know you're valued by us, and you're valued by God. And we love you. We, we love, love you, you right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so... God loved you so much that he said words in the Bible about you. Do you want to know what he said about you? Okay. He said that you are a reward to us. You are our reward. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he did. He said that, that through your praise, this is Psalms 82, through the praise of children and even infants, that we have a stronghold established. That means that the enemy can't get to us and that you defeat any of our enemies because of the way you praise God. So little children, I'll go over to this side, even little children, you protect us when you praise God. And you guys praise God when you worship, right? Yes. Oh, I can't wait to hear y'all worship. <laughs> okay, they are just so adorable. And you guys worship, right? Yeah. Are you guys worship? Yeah. Yes. So you're saving all of us and defeating our enemies. So that makes you heroes. <laughs> Woo! That makes you heroes. Amen. One of the scriptures that, um, that I stand on all the time for me and my children and my spiritual children, which is all of you, is Isaiah 50, 21. And it says that I have a special covenant from God. God promised me. He said, I'm coming into agreement with you forever that the spirit that I have put inside of you will also be inside of your children and your children's children and your children's children after them now and forever. So the Holy Spirit is not only in me, but it's in you and it's going to be in your children and it's going to be in your children's children. And that is a big deal. Amen. 
Okay, so um, are you distributing? You distributed their shirts, right? Yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we're going to tell them what heroes they are? No, we're going to do the declaration right now. <gasps> I'm so excited. Elijah and Elijah are helping you. And, and Landon, if he wants to. Okay. So they're coming up to help you. And oh, good. Yay! <laughs> Three awesome heroes are here to do the declaration. Okay, do we have it? Okay, you got to turn around and help me. Okay, let's say it. Oh, they need a mic. Come up here, Bubba. We have to use the mic. La, 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 la. Come over here so we can hear you guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ready? Psalms, say it. 33, 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Father God, thank you for blessing our nation. We declare that you are God God. We pray that you will draw all people to your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Awesome. Okay. Good. Okay. Since they have organized everything, because you know I'm, I, I think these things up and then they organize it for me. So I'm going to turn it over to Cindy and Trinda. And then I'll come back towards the end. And we have special things for every child. All right. Yeah. All right. So it's worship time, and the children don't come into worship with you guys anymore. We've changed that a little bit. But we have our own worship inside of the children's church, and we have videos, and um, we're inviting you all today to take part in children's worship. So that means you can't sit. You got to get up, and you got to do what they do because you're part of children's church today. So, one of our favorites is an oldie but a goodie, goodie and um, well, now you'll get to join our infantry of, of, and our army of, of Christ's warriors there. All right. In fact, I'm going to ask the kids to turn around and lead the adults. Come on, everybody. Good job. good job. That was really good. Oh, you're not done. Don't sit down. <laughs> Don't sit down because the next song we have is I Am a C8.
Okay. So this next one is probably one that most of you adults don't know about, but he's quickly become um, one of our favorites. And if you look at all the shirts the super kids are wearing, they're wearing, and me, this guy is called Skittles, and he's part of our curriculum. So, but he has these wonderful music videos, and so, Jack, um, you need to come up and tell everybody why we love Skittles so much. He loves Skittles so much because he's about God, he teaches us about God, and he's all about God. Skittles, baby. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Sometimes life can get real tough. It makes you wanna say, I've had enough. But let me tell you something totally legit. When life gets tough, the tough don't quit. So don't get tired of doing good. Keep on going like you know you should. God'll give you strength for every little bit. If you won't give up, and you won't quit, baby. You don't want to quit on God. He's got amazing things planned for you if you just won't give up. I got a rainbow of flavor, and I'm living for my Savior. Skittles out, baby, yeah. I love that. I've got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my... Yes! You're getting them? Okay. All right. Well, Kids Church is all about God and all about having fun. And in the process, it's even more fun because God is awesome. And the more you love him, the more you serve him, the more joy you have in life. And that's what we're... That's what we're teaching the kids. You know, we don't combine fun and God just because they're kids. We combine fun and God because God is God and he wants you to enjoy your life. And it's more fun serving God. And we want them to learn from this big that serving God is the best. And, and you'll have more joy in your life and, you'll, and being closer to God. So... We have some pictures of how fun it is. <laughs> so guys, just for fun, throw those balloons out, and we'll just let the adults have some fun, too. Keep it up. Keep it up. And how many of you know that the truth goes down deeper when you're having fun with, when you're having a memorable experience? So, oh, hey, yeah. Justin is going to give you the rules for our next, Justin hey. is going to give you rules for our next activity. Give yourselves a hand for having fun. Woo! 
We're going to have a little bit more fun right now, like we have fun every week in Super Kids. Uh, every, every time we have Super Kids, we, we, play, we play at least one game, maybe two, maybe tons of games all throughout Super Kids, and we're going to play a game this morning. And this is one of my favorites, and I think it's uh, one of the favorites of all the kids, too. I, I know it is. Uh, has anybody played Four Corners before? Raise your hand if you played Four Corners. Woo! Yes. All my kids, you guys know. It's, you guys know what Four Corners is. Uh, this is a blast. The way this game works, if you have not played before, there are four corners, each numbered, and the numbers are never going to change. We've got corner one in the back. Corner two up here by, the, by Miss Trinda and Miss Cindy. Corner three is over here by the stairs. And corner four is the exit sign. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And if you would like to play, we're going to play. And anyone, anyone who wants to play, what, you, what you'll have to do is you'll have to get up out of your chair. Not now, but when we say go. And then we'll call out a corner, and if your corner gets called, you have to sit down. All right, so three corners are going to survive every time. And one corner is going to be called out until we get down to the winners. So um, I need a kid volunteer. Mr. Joel, come on up, buddy. Come on, give me a high five. All right, all right. Do you know what you have to do? Yes. You have to close your eyes, yes. and we're going to count to 15 each time. And every time we count to 15, you're going to call out one, two, three, or four, and everybody in that corner is going to have to sit down. But you've got to keep your eyes closed. So you've got to put your hand over your eyes so that you don't see. Is everybody ready? Yes. Everybody ready to move? Everybody know which corner you're going to? All right, on your mark, get set, go. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, pause. Joel, what's your corner? Corner number one. Oh, everybody in corner one, have a seat, have a seat. If you were in corner two, three, or four, you're still in, so get ready. Are you ready, Joel? Yes. Okay. Ooh. On your mark, get set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, pause. 15 seconds is up. Everybody's in a corner. Joel, what is your corner? Three. Corner three. Three. Oh, yes. Thank you for playing. Have a seat. All right. We still got a group. We got a big group left. We got big groups in each corner. On your mark. Get set. Go. One, two. Okay, pause. Joel, what's your corner? Corner number two. Corner two. Oh, <laughs> ousted. Ousted. All right. Ready, Joel? Yes. On your mark, set, go. Three, four, five, six, seven. 14, 15. Pause. All right, Joel, call it out. Corner number four. Four. Oh, if you are at the exit sign, please have a seat. You've been ousted. 
All right, this is our final round. Everyone who is left standing after this, this call out by Joel will receive a piece of candy. Now, I would, I would like to ask you all to save it till the end of service and, and eat it outside of the sanctuary, but you will receive a piece of candy. Are you ready, Joel? Yes. On your mark, get set, go. Two. Pause. All right, for the championship, Joel. Corner number two. Corner two. Oh, please have a seat. All right, if you are left standing, please come to the front and get your piece of candy. I have your candy here. You can stay on the, on the floor. Joel, you get a candy too for volunteering. with all your heart too so miss trinda you're gonna talk about worshiping god <clears throat> um in super kids we take our worship very seriously and um you some of you might not even know that um all most of these kids have already been baptized by the holy spirit i mean we've had a class on that and most of these kids, when we're in class and, it's, and we've done with our lesson and we're on prayer, most of them are absolutely ready to, to, to dig, dig deep and meet God. And we have moments in time when we're in service and they're all laid out on the floor and, and they're worshiping God or they're hearing from God. And we practice that on a regular basis, hearing from God and knowing the difference between his voice and the voice of, you know, it themselves and, and, you know, the enemy. So, so they're, they're, they're well-trained fighting machines. <laughs> so I think there's a video so you can see some of their worship. So we have some songs that we enjoy that gets us a little bit deeper than the ones that we did bef in the beginning. Those are our fun songs. So we're going to show you some of those. So the first song we have is another oldie but goodie, but it does get us where we need to be and, and ready to worship. So this is Fruit of the Spirit. Oh, yeah, you should stand for this one, too. The fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a banana. The fruit of the spirit is not a banana. 
is not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. The fruit of the spirit is not a grape. You want to be a grape. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. So, um, so that's kind of some of the fun that we're having with that song. And I have to tell you, I'm telling on you, Maya. Maya, Maya listened to that song till she learned every single word, and she can totally do it. So we're, we're proud. <laughs> All right. So this next song is a song that requires dance moves. So you guys are going to have to, but it's okay because there is a video and Micah and Lauren are going to help lead you in the, in the, in the way to do it since they're our most recent graduates. So this is my God is so big. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big and so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God Oh, yeah. 
you guys did a <laughs> that was an amazing job uh, that was that was pretty good. I know for some of you that was your 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 first workout in a while, but that's okay. That's okay. You can worship and work out. Now you see that video is available on the internet whenever you want it. Just saying. Okay. So this next song is definitely one that we all know, but it seems to have very special meaning to one person in our. Um, in our Super Kids class. So Grayson, will you come up and tell everybody why you love Good Good Father? Yeah, just tell everybody why you like the song. Because... How does it make you feel? It makes me happy and it feels like God is making me stronger. That's good job, buddy. Good job. offering today and I have a scripture for us and it's Luke 6:38 Give and it will be given to you 
good measures, pressure, pressured down, shaken together, and run over, will be put into your bosom for with some mesh measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. So I have a scenario for you. It's mostly for, for it was a scenario to me because I'm in school. If you put time into studying, you will reap what you get. So you will reap good, good grades and passing the semester. So that scripture is not all just about money. It's about time and energy you put into it. So I'm encouraging you guys to give to the church, not just money, but time and energy, because you're going to get it back, paid back to you. Now, ushers, can you please wait on the people? tell the parents something. So um, we're kind of switching a little bit into spiritual mode now. So for the parents, if you want to hear what the teachers have to say about your children, and if you want to hear what God has to say about your children, now is the time to look on your iPhone and make sure you have a recorder or a video so that you can be prepared for this. Because at the last minute, you're going to be like crazy looking for it. And so just do it now so you'll be so you'll be ready, okay? And what? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, it, if you're new to coming, yeah, you can still come up and join us. We don't care. You can come and be a part. For sure. For sure. Any any kids here? Any kids here? All right, go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. Um so, uh, so um, this next things that we have for you, we have um, two videos to share for you. This first one is very personal to me because, you know, as you all know, I just went through a very, very <laughs> tough time being sick. And um, I do remember that when I did hear this, I was in an emergency room in a not very nice place. <laughs> And um, I had had surgery on my left eye, so it was swollen shut and probably grotesque. I, uh, thanks, Jeff. That's why you're just the driver, okay? That's why. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, if you want to see Jeff. <laughs> Um, and the other one was still quite swollen shut because I had had that surgery, like, less than a week before. So I'm in a terrible place. I can't see. My heart is pounding in my chest because my pressure is out of the roof. And so it's incessant, the pounding. And so I started to, to just feel the weight of what was going on. And the enemy was winning with the thoughts that were going through my head. Because, you know, as most of you know, I have 
a finite supply of kidney function left. <laughs> and so that, you know, thank you. That's right, Pastor Nunn. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Don is right. <laughs> she is right. But in that moment, that's all I could think about, all those little worries. And then Pastor Don played for me this, um, the almost the most awesome sounding thing I've ever heard while I was in the midst of that. And um, it was Joel praying for me while I was sick. So you guys have to hear this because it's amazing. God, we just thank you for the day. Make this Trinda feel better. Let her let the doctors find out what is happening in her um, head, eyes, and figure out what is happening in there and heal her. And and I love her so much. I just want her to come back to church and make, make them figure out what medicine could feel, make her feel better and make her have, have um, great, great um, miracles and let her, let her be in heaven with you forever and have eternal life Whoa. and we just Come want on, her to feel better and in mm, we say i be healed i be no. healed blood pressure Whoa. blood pressure yes. be normalized, be normalized. Yes. in the name of jesus yes. in the name of jesus amen amen Right? Is that not amazing? And in that moment, it just felt like, okay, I'm not alone in this. I, everybody loves me, and this is going to be okay. So Joel gave me so much hope in just that one prayer that it, I can't even describe it. So, And we have one more video to show you. This one is how, um, how some of our super kids are putting their faith into practice. So... As many of you know, my family are baseball lovers, and <laughs> I think you have to be a baseball lover to be a Hernandez, so I'm just saying. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure none of my children had a choice <laughs> in the matter. Matthew was outfitted in utero. He's, he's you know, he's on board too. So um, this is actually Jack praying at one of our baseball games, and last season, before every game, we would pray. And so, this is it. Saying, you release your stronghold on Nate, and you don't touch none of my players. You're beneath us, you're under our feet, Satan. You can't stop us, and you're not going to stop us in Jesus' name. We, we, we pray, we send the angels over to Nate, we give the doctors the wisdom to heal Nate and his kidneys, and no issues, no issues with his kidneys. His kidneys are healed right now, and we're going to believe in that, that he's healed in Jesus' name. Healed in Jesus' name. Amen. And in, in that particular case, one of our players was rushed to the emergency room, having all experienced so much stuff going on, and we found out about it at game time. So this was right before game time. We just stopped everything, and we started praying for Nate. Awesome, awesome in God. We're to the best part of the service. It's all been good so far, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> We're to the best part. This is hero time. You know, I wish when I was a kid, somebody had told me, you're great in God. You're great. 
And so that's what, that's what we've got for you today. We're, you're not just super kids. You're superheroes. And we are going to learn a, a, some amazing things from God about each kid and how you fit in the world. And it's going to be really, really exciting. So I know you parents, like Pastor Don said, get ready, get ready, um, because you might want to record some of this. I'm calling up my prophetic team or Pastor Dawn's prophetic team, <laughs> Pastor Dawn's prophetic team, and my super kid teachers. Super kid teachers, you're by Skittles over there. And my hero team's awesome. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. You're not just super kids. You've got God in you, big. And there's no little Holy Spirit. He's big in you. And the way you fit in the world is you're a world changer. You're a world, you have an impact in your situation. Now, Jack, you're going to be the first one. So I'm going to tell you how to do it, and everybody can watch where you go, and they'll know for when it's their turn, okay? All right. So the first, per the first person is Jack, and when I call his name, he's going to come right here and stand by the, by the balloons right here because it says you're special. He's going to stand right here by the balloons, and one of the teachers has a word of blessing for you, something they've seen you do or something they just know from God to encourage you. And, um, and, then, and then Pastor Dawn and her team is going to speak God's words right into your spirit. And he's going to show you important things that you need to know right now about, about loving God more, serving God more, and making an impact where you are. And then... We have some special gifts for you, but that, and the, the, okay, my teachers have that ready. Miss Trinda is going to call the first group up. So what we try to do for this one is that we try to look at the kids and their gifts and separate them into three groups. Okay, and that was hard because our kids are really talented spiritually, and so they could all mostly probably fit in all three groups, but, um, but we try to isolate what they've shown us as their um, most strength in, in, in that phase. So the first group we have is called our Hope Heroes, okay? These are, are the children who are quick to pray for people, they're, they've shown really like strong intercessor skills and qualities, and they are um, they are hope givers because they believe that they believe and know what God has promised, and that their prayers are heard in heaven. So we're going to call up our hope heroes. Everybody with a green name tag. Everybody right with here. a green name tag, come right here. Okay, awesome. make a line. Jack, Jack, I'm going to let you go first. You'll stand right here, and Justin has a word of, of blessing for you. Yeah. Jack, Jack, you're a hope hero, man. Jack, you know, when I see you in Super Kids and, and just around the church, and when I see videos of you praying, with your team, and I know you. I, I, I mean, we, we have fun together as super kids, and you, you learn. Jack, your smile brings hope to other people. Your smile brings hope to me. Your smile is a statement to the rest of the world that Jesus is good and that God loves them. And when you just smile, you bring hope. But that's not all. When you help, when you're there, you're present, you know how many times you've helped me with the chairs? 
Think back how many times you've helped me with the chairs. <laughs> Tons of times. You bring hope when you do things like that. When you are out looking for who needs help, looking for who needs to be noticed. That's when you bring hope. And I want to encourage you that you're, you're a hero to all of us. You're a hero to me. And you're a hero to Jesus, a hope hero. Great job, buddy. All right. Oh, Justin, on. will you get a, a cape for Pastor Dawn sure. to give to Jack? Adorable or what? Yes. Okay. All right, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to prophesy to each child so we have teams of two. Um, one reason why I want you to also be a part of this church is so that you can see we are training up every generation, every generation to hear from God and to receive the word of the Lord and to respect it and honor it and to live it out. So we are not just speaking these words just because it's something good to do for the kids. We believe the word of the Lord for these children. We are releasing what he has to say about them, and he speaks to their potential over the period of their lifetime. And when we release the word of the Lord, it stirs up what has already been deposited inside of them so that they can live for him every day of their life. Amen? And so... Um, and so you can see different age groups here. And so Johnny and Reve, you're first up. So you do Jack. Jack, I saw. You can stand so that you can look at him in the eyeball. Jack, I feel like, I feel like God is saying your foundation is going deep. And I saw him putting new shoes on you. And they were like roots going down into the ground. And God says you're deep. You're deep and, and you're going to make a way. Your obedience is going to make a way for other people to see the goodness of God. And it's not just gonna be through, your, through what you say, but it's gonna be through what you do. And it's gonna be years and years and years in the making. I see you even in the future. God's got a good plan for your life. He's got a plan of, of destiny, making sure that every provision is made so that you can be successful at what you put your hands to. Amen. <laughs> Jack, I just heard God saying to you that you have um, an immense amount of joy and he's placed that in you so that it's so infectious to those around you and it gives them a sense of joy too and a place of belonging and you make people feel belonged and loved. Amen. Amen. Okay, go over there and get your picture taken. And, hi, come. Oh, who, who is doing them? The teacher. Teachers. Okay, teachers. Sorry. <clears throat> so, Maya, I get to do you because you always impress me with your heart for others. I mean, I cannot tell you how many times when we have finished our lesson and we're saying, I don't know who to look at, <laughs> and we're saying, um, look at her. let's pray, let's pray for someone. She has a list. She always has a list, and it's almost like when she starts, she adds more people, and she's like, oh, can we pray for this one, too, Aww. and can we pray for this one? So you have an amazing heart and, a, and, and just a love for all those around you, but not only that, you notice what they need, what's going on in their lives without them telling. So thank you for being amazing, just lover of people around you and always thinking of others before yourself. You're a hope hero. You give hope to everybody, including me. I look at you and I know that Liberty Life Center is going to go on with awesome people because you have the heart of God and you have the heart of this house. Sorry, I'm not trying to steal your prophecies, but okay. I love you. All right. Okay, you guys. Are 
I don't know. <laughs> Everybody just scream. If it's green, it's on. My, I felt like I was just saying he made you beautiful for such purpose. Yeah. So, like, you're just at the brink of just the way he's going to develop the beauty outward and inward inside of you. But it's almost like an extra anointing. There's purpose that comes with it. And he's really going to use you, not just for your generation, but for an older generation that's really going to take note at how your beauty resonates, not just from outside, but from deep inside. So keep feeding your spirit. It's going to keep developing into something really significant, and God's going to use it, so keep looking to him with it. Amen. Amen. My precious, my precious Maya, I created in you a tender heart, a big tender heart, and your heart is so for me that I don't even, I know that even if you try, you can go against me because you love me so much, and I see you, and I see your heart, and you're going to be doing great and big things, and your love can touch so many people for me. Amen. Amen, baby. Go over there and get your picture. Okay. Our next Hope Hero is Kaylee. And Rachel has something Woo! special for her. <laughs> okay, Kaylee. Who's your teacher? Here Rachel. she comes. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. So I'm not a public speaker, so I got my notes here <laughs> on my phone. Um, so, uh, Kaylee, I know Justin talked about Jack's smile, but... Kaylee's got a pretty awesome smile, too. So, she does. But as far as Kaylee, like, she's the kind of kid that, like, participates in everything. Like, she's never like, no, I don't want to do this. Or, and it, like, encourages other kids, too. So, Kaylee, you're awesome. And um, she's always kind to everyone. And she's very cheerful. She comes in, and, like, there's never a day where you come in, and you're like, well, I don't want to be here. You're just, like, always happy. And it makes everyone happy. It makes me super happy because every time I see you come in the class, I'm like, Kaylee's here today. Like, you know, so <laughs> just keep that up. Always, always keep that cheerfulness that you've got, you know, and, and optimistic. I don't know if you know, optimistic is like you have a good attitude, you know, and that's really great because a lot of people should have good attitudes. So, and, and you're definitely a fun addition to the class and I'm really happy that I get to be your teacher. And I love you. Aww. Thank you, thank you. Okay, my little hope giver. I love you so much. I love that smile too. You make me happy. You make God happy. You know you make him smile. You're a hope hero. Okay, Edie, it's us. safari adventure for you. I saw your little hat and God was going to put you through almost like a scavenger hunt and you were bringing him so much joy and I feel like every, find, every time you found like a new treasure that he found it was just it opened up and confetti just blew in your face. And you, <laughs> it was just the time that you guys had together and that you were going to bring out in the world and that I also feel like he that God is establishing such a confidence in you that you are knowing who you are and there, that foundation is going to be set and no one's going to be able to take that away from you. That your joy is in him and that your foundation is set in him as well. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's what I got was I saw you climbing a mountain. You are very determined. And that determination is actually a gift from God. And so when you saw the top, you just said, I'm not going to go halfway. I'm going to go all the way. And God says he has mountains for you to take over. And he said, you're going to be not only a mountain climber, but a mountain taker and a mountain mover. Amen? Amen. All right. There we go. All right. Our next hope hero is Grayson Burgess. Woo! Glad you're here, buddy. <laughs> And Justin has something awesome to Ooh. say. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Grayson, you know, every time I see you, you just, you just cheer me up. I mean, you, you are so cheerful, and you have the joy of the Lord on your life and in your heart. And I want you to know that when you shine that light, <laughs> everybody sees it. Everybody sees how happy you are in your heart, and that that's because Jesus loves you. 
you're awesome. You really are awesome. You're a hope giver. Grayson, of course, you're my grandson, so you, you give me hope every time I see you. You're always so nice to Nana. You always love me. Aww. You fill up my love tank, and I know when I see you, I'm going to get loved by you, and I hope you feel loved by me and loved by this church because we all love you too. But you definitely give hope to other people because you needed hope and you have hope, so you give it back out. And so, okay, oh, it's back to you guys. I See, I want to prophesy to all of them, but I won't. Grace, okay. I hear God saying your, your tenderness is like a hurricane and it's gonna make a way for his winds to blow through and blow into other people's lives through your actions, through your kindness, through your, your, your attitude of peace and respect for God. It's gonna make a way for other people to have the same kind of relationship with him. God says that you're gonna go into the secret place and you're gonna see great and mighty things through your hands. Amen. Aw, the sister. So, Grayson, God showed me that you're in a car and you're going as fast as you can. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, God is making all the lights green so that you can go straight forward into him full force. Aww. And that there, he's eliminating all obstacles that are going to keep you in the way of him so that you can just drive straight toward him. Awesome. All right, baby. Awesome, awesome. That's great. Hey, our next hope hero is Joel Hamilton. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and Trinda has something for Joel. Trinda does. Okay. Where is it? Joel. <laughs> Joel brings so much joy to the classroom. And Joel pays attention to every tiny detail and every tiny nuance of every story of, every, of everybody in the classroom. He can tell you everything that goes on. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that make me so happy about Joel is he's so passionate and energetic and loving towards God. It's, and he's so excited to be in Super Kids <laughs> and learning that sometimes when he gets the gist of what the Bible story is, he's like, I know the story. And, he's telling, and I have to tell him, Joel, you're going to give away my whole lesson. Just wait. Just wait. Because he loves Jesus so much that it's over every fiber of him, and it changes the atmosphere in our classroom. And so, Joel, we love you because you love God Woo! so much. Yep. Joel, you're a hope hero for me and a hope hero for so many. Whenever you come in, you sure love God, and it shows on every fiber of you. You're happy about him, and you know what else? He's happy about you. Okay. Teresa, I may have a word for you. Oh, as soon as we recover the mic. Amen. All good. No, I just feel like God was saying you're such a treasure. Every time that you're not here and you're somewhere else, it's because God's investing you in other places. Everybody that encounters you walks away different because that deep love that you have for God draws them in and it changes them even now. So your destiny isn't for when you get big. Yeah. You're changing people's lives right now. Amen. I'm loving God like you do. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. Anthony Chaponi <laughs> is my hope hero. Yay. Anthony, Anthony is a hope hero. <laughs> you know, for years, Anthony was the first kid in class.
And he would <gasps> help me kid. get the chairs out. He would help me pray over the class. He would help me do everything to, to get ready. If there, was, if there was a game to get ready, he would help me. Right, Anthony? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Anthony is how much fun he has. Everything yes. he does is fun. And that's my kind of person anyway. But, um, and he makes it more fun for everybody else too, you know. And my second favorite thing about Anthony is how much energy he's got. He can run around this room like 60 times and not even be tired. That's and, true. You know, when you're around Anthony, you have more energy too, because it just he just he just imparts it to everybody there. They're they're up and going. My other favorite thing about Anthony, <laughs> I know. Sin. My other favorite thing about Anthony is he love, love, loves to pray for people. Yeah. Right, Anthony? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if he finds out you have a need, he's the first one. To want Aww. to say, can I pray for you? He's the first one there. He goes, I'll pray for them. I'll pray for them. And, and you know, it's because he has faith. He knows that he God has heard him. And when he asks, you'll receive. That's awesome. That's a hope hero. Amen. Good job. Good Thank job, you, Anthony. Okay, Anthony. You're my hope hero. You're, you're one of the few that always run up and hug me at the end of every service. And I wait for your hugs because they've always meant so much to me. You always give me hope because I know you'll carry out what God has on your life. And I'm so proud of you. Okay. God showed me your prayers go deep. and They're like streams of rivers. And when you pray it, you mean business. And, and, that's, and God understands that. And so God is building a relationship with you between just you and him in your prayer time. And they're going to just stuck. And he, mm, I just feel that you're, whatever you talk to him, he listens. And that just know that when everything is going rough or you have a hard time or things are just, you just don't understand. He says, come to him. And he's going to give you the direct answer. Amen. So, <laughs> so Anthony, I saw you playing um, hopscotch. Do you even know what that game is? Oh, my goodness, and I can't even do it. I know, right? I think you should do it. There, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's what you were doing. And, and God said that's because you know how to have joy serving God, and that's what you impart to everyone else, is that you not only know God, you have joy serving God. You know that he's not mean, but he's a good God, and so you enjoy worshiping him you enjoy hearing from him you enjoy loving him and you enjoy receiving his love and so that's what God says you're going to do for everyone else when they are down you show them how God is fun and that is so important in the world today so many even kids are having a hard time and struggles but you know how to tap into God and you know how to tap into his heart and you even know how to tap in having fun with him. And God said, that's a gift for me and I'm going to use you to bring that gift to others. Amen? Amen. Amen. I love you, baby. Okay. I guess you go down and get it. I love you too. Awesome. Aliyah is my next hope hero. Aliyah, come stand by the... You can go, go over to Pastor Dawn. Well, I feel bad. Okay. They should get their pictures with you guys. You are the teachers. Afterwards, we'll make sure. Okay. you got to get your pictures with them. How many of you love their teachers? <laughs> They're so awesome. I, I just want to say that they are the, they are the best. They do, do not miss a beat with these kids, and they work tirelessly with them. And I just honor all of you. I just don't know why I'm doing it right now. I was going to do it at the end, but I honor you guys so much. I guess it's because I see the, the love being poured out with every child, and I'm so grateful to have you guys working with the kids. No one could take your place. Nobody. And so they, get, they just put it. All the teachers. That's true. They just keep living and giving and loving, and that's what makes the difference. They all feel loved, and I can tell. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Now, this is okay. kid appreciation. I know. I <laughs> can't. But we help get it. in on it. That's what's fun You're about being a kid. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You're my kid. Okay, 
Okay, go ahead. Aaliyah was born in this church. Yay! <laughs> well, so not actually time, in the church. <laughs> pretty much. Every time we see Aaliyah, we're like, oh, you're so big. Yeah. You're so cute. You started out this big. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, we treasure Aaliyah because we prayed for her. And, you know, her mom and dad brought her to prayer meeting when she was a baby. And they would be there and they would pray over her. And I know all of those prayers are coming to pass. Amen. But we, we love we love Aaliyah and Isaiah, and we're so thankful for them. Okay. And you are my little hope hero. Hope hero. You give people hope because you started out right, and you're going to finish right with Amen. Jesus. Amen? Amen. All right. Amen. Who's up over here? You guys. Here's me. Aliyah, I hear God saying that every time you say yes to him, it's, it's opening a whole new world around you. Every time you say yes to him, flowers are blooming where you go. Mm. Every time you say yes to him, the, the skies are opening and singing and saying, this is my delighted one. And I'm happy with you. Aww. God says that he's got his eye on you and it's a beam of light that's going to light up your life every time you say yes in obedience to him. Amen. <laughs> Aliyah, God says that I've created in you a beautiful soul, Aww. almost a garden full of butterflies and flowers mm -hmm. in a place where I love to come and rest because you allow me. Oh, and I love you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you. Okay, go over there and get your... Picture, I guess. Okay, last but not least is Angel. Woo! And we want to thank you for being so patient. Yes. <laughs> one of my favorite, you can stand by Pastor Don. One of my favorite things about Angel is how mature and patient he is. In the class, he helps the others. He waits. He waits to help them. He waits for whatever the teacher has to say. And he, he does his best to do his best. And that is an awesome trait. Amen. You're a hope hero. This is green like the Hulk. Do you feel strong? Yeah. You are strong. You're strong in God, and you're strong in your spirit. I feel, I feel your spirit. I feel that you're strong about God, and that you're going to carry God to other people in the world, and not just even here, but other people in the world. It's going to be exciting life. Okay. Oh, right here, right here. Right here, come back. They're going to prophesy to you. Angel, we feel like there's something really big in your future, like yeah. God's mm -hmm. fashioning you for something really big. I saw something like engineering, something that's going to require a whole lot of intelligence and dedication, and he's handpicked you for this job but I feel like it's going to be really, really important. So just keep pressing into God for anything that's going to be challenging because God's got big things for you, and there's going to be a lot of challenges that come across your path, but he's going to make you stronger than you are right now. He's going to give you everything that you need. Just press into him, and he's going to work miracles, and you're going to really change the world. You really are. All right. I just see you as a leader. I just feel like God is gonna is investing so much into you to become a leader among many, and that you are going to be um, as a leader. You always help those around you, and you help the ones less privileged than you. And so I just feel like God is really investing those qualities in you to help other people um, get to where you are. Amen. Okay. So can we just get a quick round of applause for all our hope heroes? Woo! They're awesome. So the second category of heroes that we have are what we are calling our helper heroes. And just as the name implies, these are the children in Super Kids who are the first to help. 
and not even just in super children, uh, super kids. Or they're also the first to help out here in the sanctuary and around the church. And every at home, we've all noticed that they have a heart to show the love of God by being the one that brings him helping others and showing they're the hands and feet of who he is even though they're tiny they're mighty yeah let's have all the Aww. helper heroes stand up tiny there. and mighty what? i like that our helper heroes because you're such good helpers we're gonna <laughs> let you wait just a minute and help the littler the younger kids they're gonna go they're gonna cut in front of you is that okay oh <laughs> they had a hard time waiting so the little ones we said, okay. I know they're bringing them right in right now. They so. escaped. Did you say they escaped? Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Only the. Uh, <laughs> Miss Na Matthew, this way. Justin. <laughs> this way, baby. You can bring them right up on stage. They're All right. Oh, uh, my heart. <laughs> Come here, baby. All my heroes in training, I want you to come over here. <laughs> come right here, and you can go up. I love you. Stay right here, okay? Come on over here. <laughs> you can come right up. My right endorphins right are going crazy. <laughs> Good job, Joshua. Good job. Oh, hello, Noah. Come. Come here, come here. Okay. Come on, Joshua. Miss Natalie is our awesome head teacher in the in the Veggie Tales <laughs> class. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. We are so proud of our We are so proud of our young ones. They, Aren't they beautiful? They are a joy to us every Sunday. And Miss Natalie is going to tell you some amazing stories you will not, yes, you will believe. Yes, we will they're believe. Super. Yes. They're super. So They're heroes. We, they are. I mean, it's amazing because you think, oh, they're little and they're cute and, you know, they're still growing. But they show you little examples of just how much Jesus is shining out of them. Like, it makes me cry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> because they're really... <laughs> they really have God. They do. And no matter their size, like God is just so big. He yeah. just shines out of them. It's overwhelming. Amen. <laughs> so, like, for example, we have Courtney Rose. Yeah. And Courtney, she's in the Hope group. So Courtney showed an example of how much of a Hope superhero she is. Every time before we have snack, I ask them, okay, who wants to thank Jesus for our snacks? So Courtney raises her hand and everything. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we start thanking Jesus for snacks. And all of a sudden, she's praying for people's hearts to receive Jesus. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she's praying for people's blood Aww. pressure. And I'm just there with my mouth literally open like, and she was asking me, she's like, can I pray for people to receive Jesus in their hearts and for their blood pressure? And I'm like, I think you just did. <laughs> so she's already shining that out of her. And it's just amazing how Good just, green on. you just see Jesus in, in Courtney. And then we have Isaiah. And Vanessa I, uh, asked him a story. Asked him, do you have a story? I had something, you I had something I wanted to say for Isaiah. Because, you know, Isaiah was born in our church, too. <laughs> so every time we see him, we think, oh, how big he is. Well, I think it was um, Easter or something. He was, he was in here in the service, and he had his guitar going. It wasn't <laughs> a real guitar, but he was jamming. I, he's full of praise. He loves God. He loves worshiping God. And even from a young age, he has shown that. And I think he's just really at home up here on stage because he loves worshiping God. And he knows what, what the stage is for. It's for God to be Amen. big. Amen. It's for God to be big. Amen. <laughs> so now we have Levi. And... I'm sure many of you know, Levi 
won't do anything. If he doesn't feel like it, he's not doing it. <laughs> we'll have sweet little, you know, sweet ladies that will come by and oh, wave at the kids. I'm like, everybody okay. say hi to Miss so-and-so. He's like, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, okay. He makes his choices. So when he decides to do something, yep. it's Big. impactful. And then for me to ask them, like, who wants to thank Jesus for snacks? You know, kids raise their hand. Everybody raise their hands. Levi's like, I'm not into it right now, you know? <laughs> he'll decide. But when he does, he has his moments, and he'll decide, and he'll raise his hands, and he'll want to thank That's Jesus right, for the Levi. snacks. And it's like you can just see, like, he's in that vision superhero group because he just has that in him. Like, you'll know that when he grows up, everything that he does is going to be impactful. Like, Amen. it'll be very strategic. Like, what he does, he'll decide it. That's you I'm talking about, Levi. <laughs> uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> and we have Joshua, Joshua, who just comes in the room, and he just has his smile, just sharing hope for the world. Like, he just comes in, and he's just so sweet and quiet, and just with his smile, he comes, and he shares, and he's just wonderful. And he's just so sweet. You see his little face? I mean, he's like, We love Aw. you. <laughs> He's I know. Beautiful. Isn't he cute? They're all so adorable. <laughs> Love them. Love them. And powerful. Yes. They are cute and powerful. And we have Noah, a.k.a. Hulk, a.k.a. Gecko. That's the new one because he's green, too. Um, yeah, get it right because yeah, you know he'll green, tell you about like it. The <laughs> and he has that Gecko. vision superhero shining out of him. Like, sometimes, you know, he comes in. He is, yeah, he's been asking, is it my turn to go up? <laughs> All right. I'm like, not yet, almost. He's like, oh, okay. God. So he comes in with his cool toys, and every kid, you know, sometimes, especially when they come in with a cool Spider-Man, they they're like, I don't want to share this. But there was this moment that he's sitting at his own little table playing with his big Spider-Man, and Corny laughs because he did something silly where Spider-Man fell, and he's cracking up, and Corny's like, that's so funny. Can I try? He gets up from his little chair, goes over to her table, brings it to her, shows her what he did so that she can do it. And I'm like, Aww. he just went all the way out of his way, get, gets up, decides to show her, you know, his Spider-Man and show her the trick that he just did. I mean, Aww. he's just shining out like he's such a cool little dude. Yeah, I love him. Amen. <laughs> I love all of them. <laughs> And last but not least, we have baby Matthew. <laughs> and right now, everything he says is, Miss Nanny, Miss Nanny. But his little <laughs> smile just shines out. Mm -hmm. And you can just tell he's just going to be sharing God in such a beautiful way. I mean, um, Miss Cindy was telling me a story. I think that Trinda was saying, do you want to share about his little amen? <clears throat> so, um, <laughs> actually, Anthony took Matthew to one of the warehouses where he buys the supplies for our vending company, and uh, they, he had Matthew praying for uh, a gentleman there, and Matthew will lay hands on somebody like this, and he won't say anything. He closes his eyes and he, amen. <laughs> and... <laughs> Of course, <laughs> he does it. He knows exactly what he's saying. He'll do that. And it, it seems really impactful because when he does it to people, they're all like, whoa, he just prayed for me? <laughs> so now Anthony tells me the guys in the warehouse start lining up. And they're like, I want, I, can he pray for me? <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So by the time <laughs> Come he here, left Joshua. the place, Matt, he left with a, all his supplies and Matthew had prayed for like five or six guys all through the warehouse. <laughs> okay, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to give you all your cape because you're so awesome. Woo! Courtney. Isaiah. Love you, love you. Oh. Green? I, I can't. I had to give it to no. We're going to have a fight on the stage. He's been asking uh, for the green cape. Levi. 
We do know these things. Joshua. And Matthew, you match. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> okay, little heroes, here's what you're going to do. I'm going to take you to one of these prophets, and they're going to give you a word. Okay, Matthew, you come wait for me. Come over here. You come wait for me. Come wait for me. Okay, Noah, come on. Here, you go to, go to Edie. Come on, Josh. Okay, right here. This one. Oh, <laughs> Cheers is so happy. Okay, Isaiah and Gordy. Okay. All right, we'll do it one at a time so that people can hear it, but just, you know, go in, go in a line. Okay? Do you guys, yeah. Okay. Go ahead, John. Courtney Rose, I hear God saying that he's placed a fierceness on the inside of you, and that fierceness is going gonna, is gonna to make a way for, for your schooling. That fierceness is going to make a way for your career. That fierceness is going to make a way for your family. And God says that he's going to make you courageous and act in obedience and boldness for him. And I see that there's, that there's um, things that are getting out of the way because you're, because you're declaring God's promise. And even as you pray now, it's doing that. Even as you pray for Miss Trinda, it's doing that. Even as you pray for others, God's making a way through what you say. Amen. I love you. I love you. Hi, buddy. Hi, Isaiah. Oh. So what God's saying about you is he gave you a really strong heart. That you, he's got a shield over your heart that no matter how the enemy tries to get in, your heart is so strong and it will not let the enemy in. And that you're a protector of his people and of his word. Amen. Amen. Hey, Levi. I feel like God said you are very, very, very strong and very, very, very smart and very, very, very compassionate. Mm -hmm. And just like God uses your mom and dad every day, all day to help yeah. other people, that's your calling. Aww. You're also going to be just brilliant enough to do something very, very significant to help a whole heck of a lot of people. And I also feel like a big part of your life is ministry with your family, with your brother and your mom and your dad. God's going to use you in a very powerful way because all four of you are different, but all four of you work really well together. Yes, so God's got big plans, and I'm excited to see everything that happens for you. Amen. Oh, the face. Love it. Joshua, I feel like, you know, God gave you your name. Your name is a very big name. And just like Joshua in the Bible, he went in and he was able to tear down the walls of Jericho. So you're going to be able to do that. The walls that are built in your family and the walls that are built around the world, you're going to be able to tear them down by just asking God to bring them down for you. And it's going to be really easy for you. It's going to be really awesome. You're going to do really big things. Oh, wow. Bye. Amen. No, I turn around. So God said you are a, just a joy to have. And I just see you bringing so much joy to different people, people that, that you've never even met. Like they just come across you and they're like, there's something about him. There's something about him that's different. And I just feel that God is going to just use you and you're going to morph into like just different personalities and just kind of just help and heal people by bringing them joy. And you're going to, you're smart. You're mm -hmm. super smart, and God's going to use that wisdom to, um, to help sick people, to help people in their, um, just by, by talking to them, and you're just going to give them ease and joy, and you're going to help them know God more. So I just really feel that, that you're going to help God. You're going to bring a smile to everyone that you meet, everybody that you meet. Amen. Amen. Matthew, you bring peace wherever you go. And so some people would say that you're a lover, not a fighter. But you are a lover, and that's why you are a fighter. And so the Lord says that that love is what brings you victory and what touches other people's heart. And I also saw you um, 
making money, even from an early age. Like God's going to give you creative ideas, and you're going you're gonna to know how to make the bucks, baby. <laughs> and so um, because you have a heart to give to others, and that's what you do. You love and you give, and that, that shows forth the heart of God. And so, Lord, we just bless these kids in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we thank you for these wonderful words. And we bless our heroes. They are all heroes for you. Amen? Amen. All right, you can go down there. Whoop. Go that way. Oh, I'm sitting on this cape. No wonder. Go. Oh, yay. <laughs> The most fun ever. <laughs> okay. It's red badges. Are you guys enjoying this? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, so now we're ready for our helper heroes. Woo! So if you have a red badge on, could you please come and line up over here? Red badge. And KK's going first. And KK, go ahead. And just a quick reminder, our helper <laughs> heroes are the ones that are first to help. They're the ones that display the hands and feet of God, and they show God's love by being helpers to all. Amen. Our first helper hero, our first helper hero is KK, and, and Miss Janae has something special for you. KK. Oh, they could hear you offline, but you need your own. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, KK. Um, one thing that I love about KK is when she walks into class, she runs and gives me a big hug. So can I have a hug, KK? Ah. Aww. Um, KK, so you are so selfless. You care about everybody and I love your heart for God. She literally has like God's heart for other people. She would give up her chair for somebody else if they needed to sit down. She has such a giver's heart and I love that about you. Awesome. All right. Helper hero. You're a helper hero in the kingdom of God and that is the most important job of all, isn't it? Right. We gotta see your name so everybody can love you. You are a helper hero. Amen. Okay. What, do we know where we're at? We don't know. I've lost you. Okay, you guys go. We're gonna get your word. KK, I hear God saying that He's He's placing a a cape of wisdom on you. Ah, nice. And that the wisdom is gonna Jesus. guide you in your life and it's gonna guide you. Um, which way to go, and, and you're not going to look to the right or to the left, but you're going to keep your eyes sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And he's saying that your, yeah, your honor and your respect for others is going to make a way for you to come before kings, and you're going to see mm. the goodness of God through your life minister through wisdom to others. Amen. Hi, okay, KK. Okay. The word I got for you was peace. That God has, you are an anchor of peace for your family and for your friends and for those around you. And that you just emanate it everywhere. You're just, when people are stressed and they see you, they just find their peace and they know what it is because you have that. Amen. Amen. Yay. All right. Our next, Alvin. our next hero is, is Alvin. And Alvin, I think Mariella has something special to say for you. Oh, cool. Like your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> so, Alvin, you are a helper hero. Good job. So, one of the things that I noticed about you in last class is that you always look to help everybody in the class. You always, like looking out that everybody gets the right answer to a question 
and um, you're always like, they haven't gotten an answer in a candy yet, they, they haven't been able to get a try, and you even help <laughs> Angel, like, big time, last time, and you take notes, you're passionate about God, and passionate about the word, and wanting to, like, learn, and make sure that you've learned it, and you've gotten it right, and you share it with others, and that's a really big help to God, because you're giving what you receive back to others. Amen. So. Thank you for being a helper in the kingdom. Thank you. We're proud of you. And we all love you. Yay. There it goes. Okay, you guys are up. Alvin, I just hear God saying that he loves you. That he loves you, that he loves you, that he yeah. loves you, that he loves you, that he loves you. And he loves you so much that he never wants you to forget that. That, you know, sometimes you might have doubts about, well, who can love me? But God says, I do. And I will forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever love you. Like, his love mm -hmm. is so big for you. And he wants you to know that with that love that he wants you to have peace knowing that he's going to take care of everything for you. Amen. Alvin, do you like kids? Do you like little kids that are smaller than you? Yeah. So I felt like God just gave you a heart for the generation that's coming under you, that you really love them and you care about what happens to them. So God's going to invest young little lives into your care, even at a young age, and you're going to be able to mentor them and oh, help them. Awesome. Just redirect them back to the heart of Jesus. And the deeper you know him, the more you'll be able to give them. So just keep going to Jesus to get what you need, and then look for who it is that you're supposed to give it out to because he's going to use you in a big way. Amen. Awesome. Amen. Awesome. Our next helper hero is Elijah. Woo! You know, about a year ago, about a Hi, year buddy. ago, we had a class on Jesus being the servant of all and washing his disciples' feet. And Elijah volunteered to be, to be the one who, whose feet got washed for everybody. And at the end of the class, he very humbly went around and he prayed for everyone Aww. to have a heart like Jesus and to be a servant like Jesus. You know, it touched my heart so much that Elijah, Elijah did that and he knew to go around and pray for each kid to, to have that same humility. Um, Jesus said, if you want to be the greatest, be a servant. Yep. And Elijah, Elijah knows that he is a helper hero. And I love how he wants to be just like Jesus and show people God's love. Amen. Thank you for being a good helper in the kingdom to all of us. And not only is all those people out there clapping for you, so is heaven. Amen. Okay. So Elijah, um, I heard the word sacrifice. And, and God said that you sacrificed your time. For, for others and that you to give back because you wanted others to see the love of God and the love of God displayed like who he is real in reality and so God was saying that I, I just feel that God's giving you a lot of treasures like not just in heaven but in actual the realm here and that you're going to actually see them starting to take fold now like you're just going to have um, doors open up when things you thought that were going really rough or things that you that you wanted to be on, like for example, like just you didn't make the team or, and I just feel God saying that you are making the team and that you're going to, um, things that were rough are going to be a lot easier for mm -hmm. you to go through just because you put him first, mm -hmm. that you sacrificed yourself mm -hmm. and that you sacrificed your time to put God first in your life. And mm -hmm. so God is going to put you first. Amen. Okay. So Elijah, God, God's letting me know that you don't miss anything. Anything that's going on around you, you are well aware of. And the Lord said, you've already, even at a young age, you've had to make hard choices to do what's right and to tell the truth. And the Lord says, you don't have any problem setting people straight. It's part of what you do. And the Lord said, that's an anointing and a call that I put on your life is to, to hold the line and to say, I'm not going past this and you should neither. And the Lord said, that is an anointing for you and that he is so very proud of you. Amen. Amen. All right, Jeremy, you're our next helper hero. You can... <laughs> It's 
such a handsome dude. So I have the pleasure of having Jeremy in class. Oh, thank you. I have the pleasure of having him on my baseball team. <laughs> I have the pleasure of getting to hang out with him outside of everything. <laughs> and one of the things that you get to know about Jeremy Thanks. very quickly is that he has an amazing heart of love for everybody. And he is the first one to give you the shirt off his back or anything that he has if you're in need of it. Mm, the yeah. very first. To, to the point where he'll give it all. Not just some, but all. And sometimes we have to remind him, you just got to give some. <laughs> yeah. no. You've got to keep some. <laughs> all right. Jeremy, we're so proud of you. Thank you for being such a big helper and caring about others, putting them first. That's very Jesus-like of you. Amen? Just say amen. Okay, who's up? Are you? Jeremy, I saw you reading, you were reading a book, and you came to this word, and it, and it was the word fire. And, it, and as it, it was fire, it, it started lighting up, and it was lighting up a page. And you were so interested in what was going on. And you were like, wow, I want that. I want that. And God said he's going to place the fire of God on the inside mm. of you. And you're going to see, that you're gonna see um, the burning of the spirit around you. That when you step your feet, that there's going to be fire coming up around on the sides of you. Because God says that, he's, that he has a good plan for your life. And it's a plan of strength. And it's a plan that guides you in, 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 in his promise to you. He says that his promise to you is that he'll never leave you or forsake you, but he's always going to be with you. Amen. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just heard God saying that he is giving you a heart of Noah, and that even though um, when, you, when God tells you something, you're quick to listen, and you know that his voice is the right voice, and even if other people tell you that you're crazy or if something's wrong, you know that God's voice is the only voice that matters, and in the end, it's super rewarding. Amen. Amen. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right. I have Nevea, our next Woo! hope hero, helper hero. <laughs> you know, two weeks ago, I looked around at the super kid room, and here was a whole line of kids waiting for Nevea to to Aww. blow up their balloon and tie the knot in it. She is a helper would. hero. She looks for where she can help. She looks to, to whatever somebody needs, and she just wants to be there and, and help them. And, I, you know, that's a wonderful blessing in, in a family. Yes. yes. Nevaeh, thank you for being a helper and for looking for those who need help and be an answer to their cry for help, not only in the natural but in the spiritual too. Your name is heaven backwards. I know that because we, we talked about that for Reve's name. And so, oh, never mind. I'll let the prophets do it. Okay. <laughs> but I love you. Okay. I think that is significant, Nevea. That's the first thing that I, that I noticed was it was heaven spelled backwards because God's invested you from heaven to earth just to show oh, people nice. what heaven really looks like because mm. you're just so full of sweetness and goodness and love and compassion all of those fruits of the spirit are already developed in your life even at this age and it's only going to keep going it's just going to keep maturing i see like a tremendous anointing for compassion do you know mother Teresa? <laughs> she's my favorite <laughs> so i see like that kind of compassion like wow. really deep really self-sacrificing kind of love for people and God's going to give you all kinds of opportunity and then you're going to be able to just really bless this earth Amen. and I just feel that your superpower is joy like the way that you break down the enemy and the way that you make things better is by having joy in your heart so whenever you feel like things aren't going the right way or you just feel like like down God says that your superpower is to have joy, to be joyful, to, to praise him and be happy, and then things will just fall into place for you. Amen. Awesome. I'm so happy. Our next helper hero is Talitha. Talitha. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm so glad Talitha is here today because I know God has something special to say to her. And, you know, just her being here is an encouragement to all of us. And um, she's, a, she's a helper to the younger ones. 
And even today, she was, she was helping out. She, she was waiting her turn, and she was, she was giving, giving to the others. So I appreciate that, Talitha. God bless you. All right. Thank you for being a helper. Hero. You know, heroes come in all sizes, but they all have the same size heart. And your heart is beautiful for God, and he's so happy that you're here, and we want to celebrate you. Okay. Heidi. I actually saw you making a line in the sand, and it was a decision that you decided wholeheartedly, like, this is it, God. You and I together, that's it. And since you've done that, like, people at school, too, are going to notice that, and you're, you're going to make an adamant decision, and, and there's going to be some, sometimes it's going to be difficult, and you're like, oh, I don't want, I'm gonna, I don't want to be embarrassed, but I, I don't want to embarrass God either. And so you're going to stand up, and because of that, you're going to be a leader mm-hmm. and people are going to follow you. You're going to be like, what is that? What, what is so special about you? What's the difference? Mm-hmm. And you're like, it's God. And, you're, and people mm-hmm. are just going to follow because of you just ooze it. You ooze the mm-hmm. love of God all over it. And because you are a servant, that's the first just laying down and say, mm-hmm. here you go, God, use me. And I really see God doing that for you. Mm-hmm. you. Amen. Boy, I have one for you. Okay, so I saw you walking down the road and you were like wondering, sometimes you just go, God, it seems like I am getting passed over for things. And then you looked down and there were these precious gems along the road. And God said, I have laid out treasures for you all along the way. And he said, you're going to begin to notice what they are and pick them up. And he said, I have so many surprises for you. Because you have, you have had some hardships to overcome, but now the shift has happened and you're going to have joy and you're going to have special gifts that come straight from God to give you the assurance that you are number one to him. Amen. Awesome. All right, baby. Okay, another hand uh, or clappers for the helper heroes. We're going to break them clappers, I'll tell you. The last group, last but not least group of classification of heroes (laughs) that we have are the vision heroes. (laughs) And these are the, the... students in Super Kids and, that are um, creative and their creativity can get used for God. It might be musically, <laughs> it might be artistically, it might be on the arts team, or, or but they have those potentials. And also they display strong leadership skills, so they make others want to find out more about God through the way they act and behave. And so we'd like to call up all of our vision heroes to come here, please. Everybody with a blue name tag. Cool. Okay, our first vision superhero is going to be Julia, and Rachel has something nice to say about Ah. Julia. <laughs> we love you. Okay, I'm on. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> hey, Julia. So, I don't know if anybody noticed, but Julia's been in the front row the without moving, been perfectly quiet. Just, and that's Julia in class. So, um. the reason why she's in the vision category is because you can tell she's like really smart and she thinks hard. And she thinks a lot. And she was one of those, like, quiet leaders, you know? Like, the kids look at her and they're like, okay, she's how I should behave. You know, she's like that example. And she, and she, you're an example for all the kids, you know? And I'm sure you're an example for a lot of adults, too. (laughs) Just saying. So, she's, and she's got a creative way about her. Like, she's creative thinking. You could tell, like, her, her outfits are very, like, creative and really (laughs) cute and stuff. So when we have our daughter, I want her to be like Julia. Aww. So, I love you. Julia, oh, oh, don't go oh, away. 
And, and Julia cares a lot about what Jesus thinks in class. Amen. And that's ultimately the most important thing. So Yes. Julia, thank you for being a vision hero. And you really, you've always been like a little doll. And that's what I feel God feels about you too, is that you're beautiful inside and out. And he's so proud of you. And we're proud of you too. Who's, who's up? Julie, I hear God saying that you love so deeply. Yeah. And that your deep love is given to you by God. That he's placed it there for a purpose. It's not, it's not just to love your family so deeply, but it's to love God's family so deeply. And that God has um, given you understanding on how to account for everything. And God says that that's going to make a way, that you're going, to be, you're going to be free to account for more than just what you need or what you have. But God's going to make a way for, for you to care for others because you love them. Amen. So, Julia, you've heard of being a genius in the natural world and being really book smart. But God says that you are a spiritual genius. Mm. And I've given you the brain and the intelligence to fully understand my spirit and show others what it really means. Awesome. Wow. Yay. Okay. Awesome. 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 <laughs> I love it. We need to listen more to the younger ones, don't yeah, we? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Our next vision hero is Gavin. Gavin, Woo! we're so proud of you. <laughs> and Janae has something special for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so excited I have Gavin. You have no idea. <laughs> um, one thing that I love about Gavin is that he has such a knowledge for the Bible. I love that. He can explain it Good better job. than I can sometimes. And when he explains it, I'm sitting there like, oh, my gosh. And I love that about you. And not only that, Gavin is hilarious. He, he makes is me laugh hilarious. all the time. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Gavin. Oh, yes. Gavin, you're a vision hero, and you're my grandson. Yay! <laughs> and so I love you, and I'm so glad that you do have the vision of God. I, I wanted to play your video, but I couldn't find it. Remember when you prayed for Aunt Maylene when she had her problem? And she got healed because of that. And so I'm so happy that in your vision, you're seeing what God does, and you're going ahead, and you do what God says. So I'm proud of you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Gavin, I, I hear God saying that your name means the, the hawk of the battle. And you're, oh, you're, yeah. flying, you're flying above the storm, and you're looking at the helicopter view, and you see all the different pieces and how they fit together. And God says that he's given you uh, the hands to destroy the works of the devil. That you're, you're going to be, a, you're gonna be awesome. a, a battle against the enemy. You're going to be the weapons that God uses to destroy what he's trying to do. And you're going to bring and establish God's plan. And it's not just going to be in a certain area, but it's going to be, it's gonna be for, for everything that you touch is going to be God wins and the devil loses. Wow. That's awesome. Gavin, I also saw a dreamer that you dream dreams and mm -hmm. God's giving you, your dreams are not just for pleasure, but I, I saw God was giving you strategies and, and the dreams are very strategic and, and how to combat different things of tactics of the enemy, but also to give you vision and, and when you become an adult and it's going to give you strategies to overcome. And so I really see that you're, God's given you even bigger dreams. So the sky's the limit for you. Amen. Good job, guys. <laughs> awesome. Landon, you're our next vision hero. <laughs> Aw, another Justin, grandson. Justin. Ooh, my quiver is full. Yes. I'm so happy. And you definitely are a vision hero. Even from the time you were little, you used to tell me things that God was showing you. And you still do. And even though that you act like a little shy sometimes, you really are deep in God. And so Nana's always proud 
of your relationship with God. Yeah. And Landon, you always have such a peace on the inside of you. And when you, when you talk, people listen. Yeah. People listen. So you, you are a leader, and you are an example. And there's always people who are, who are seeing you and knowing that you have a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. And I want you to know that that's not mm-hmm. something that should be a pressure on you. That's just who you are. It's just who God exactly. made you to be. Mm-hmm. And you're awesome. Yeah. You are. Okay. <laughs> We're giving them to the, to the non-relatives. <laughs> but you're still relatives to me. But okay, go ahead. <laughs> Landon, I hear, I hear you asking, well, what's, what's my destiny? What's mm-hmm. my destiny? And God says your destiny is to write out plans. And it's the, it's the plans that he's going to download to you in the secret place when you read the word of God, that he's going to give you instructions on what to do and how to, how to set the stage for other people, how to set the stage for God to intervene in, this, in a situation. And God says that your destiny is being so close to me. Your destiny is being wrapped up in that secret place with me. He says that I'm going to carry you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you from here to there, and I'm going to take you with me as you come closer and closer and closer to me. He says, you're going to have lots of fun because I have lots of fun planned for you. Amen. 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 And I, I saw that God saying you are a leader and sometimes you don't want the position, but I, I feel like God just automatically just puts you there. And th- he also wants you to know that there is no pressure on you that you have to amount to anything mm-hmm. in a certain category. He says, you, be who you are. Yeah, because that's how he made you and and because you love him so much and because you speak inside your heart with him that he's going to just automatic it's going to be easy. It's just going to be like you're just normal living and you're just going to be a natural born leader. Okay? But there is no no extra burden on you. Okay? Amen. Yes. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Katarina is our next vision hero. Woo! You can come stand by Pastor Don. Katarina Hello, is, beautiful. A, is a vision hero because <laughs> she sees things differently than others. She, she sees how God loves everybody, and then she loves them too. And she just accepts them the way they are. And... Um, you know, she helps other people do that. Other people around her. That's being a leader for God. Amen. Okay. Ooh. Good. Here you go. Oh, you're so pretty. Thank you for being a visionary. A vision leader means that you're a visionary. That means... You see way down the road ahead of time, and you make a way for others. And so you're making a way for others to get to God and to enjoy their life. You enjoy your life. You are a sweetheart. Okay, who's that? Me and me. Okay. Hi, baby. I feel like God has something extremely unique that Mm -hmm. he's going to do with your life, almost to the point where nobody has any idea yet how God made you and where he's sending you, what he's going to do with your life is going to be a masterpiece. Mm. But just like a, a tapestry that's really beautiful on the outside, but if you flip it over, there's lots of strings going a lot of different directions that all get woven together, and then when you flip it over, it's gorgeous. That's what I feel like God's calling your life to be. So there's going to be a lot of different angles, a lot of ways that are going, a lot of things that the world may not see as successful, but they don't know what true success is. True success is when you flip that over and look at the beautiful thing God's done. So you need to keep your eyes on Jesus and make sure that you're feeling satisfied in the, in the spirit. God is going to give you everything that you need. He's going to be the one that gives you the vision, and he's going to remind you that where you're going is amazing. Mm. So don't get distracted by the path. Just remember that in the end, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. Amen. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I just feel that um, God says that the way you come to me, the way you spend time with me is to dance with me. Aww. And he says that when you are in your room 
or when you even when you feel sad, he says, "Just start to dance, and I will dance with you, oh. and I will always be there, dancing and holding your hand through it all." Okay. Amen. <laughs> all right. All right. James is our last vision hero. James, come stand. <laughs> Special. Hey, buddy. I want to say a few things about James because when he comes into church, he just very quietly goes around and he hugs every single person. Oh, that's he doesn't make a big deal about it, but you know that he loves you and that God loves you. The other thing about James is he kind of intuitively knows where the class is going and how we're trying to get where God wants it to go, and he helps in that. He listens, and he helps the teacher, and he helps line things up. And it's, it's just by the Spirit, and it's by being in the right place at the right time, and it's by listening. And, and that is an awesome, awesome quality. Amen. So you're a vision hero. i got to give you a cape. You like green? Okay. Thank you for being a vision hero and for letting other people see the tenderness of God's heart and letting them know that that makes you the strongest of all. Having the tenderest heart makes you the strongest. Okay, who? It's us. Oh, oh. I don't care. Hey, here, you guys go. That's fine. They're like fighting over him. <laughs> James, I hear God saying you're a connector and you're going to connect awesome. people to God because you're so connected to God. Awesome. You're going to be so connected to God that there's electricity going through you. And you're going to see the power of God because you're connected to the source. Awesome. He's going to be your source. He's going to be the source that, that supplies the power, that supplies the need, that supplies the, the money, the finances, that supplies whatever you need. You can call on him because he's there with you. Awesome. Wow. Oh my goodness, has God got plans for you? That's all I have to say. <laughs> he has such a big, bright future for you that it's hard for any of us to really comprehend how big it is. But just know that it's coming and that you, He's going to prepare you in your heart for what is to come next. And that um, almost like a lion, like a leader of a pack, you lead everyone else to where they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do and you rule in God's name. Oh, wow. Amen. Amen. You can go down. Okay. You've done very well, guys. Hang it in there. We only have our heroes in training still and we want to make sure every kid feels celebrated and special and valued by God. So we have some we have some that are here with their parents that have to come with their parents. <laughs> so, um, Adriana, do you want to come with your mom? If you're too shy, she it's okay. It's okay. They'll, they'll prophesy from, from here <laughs> for you. Or you can just stay there. But um, we have Emma. You, you can come up. <laughs> Lee, you can bring Emma up. Come bring our Emma and, and, and Carrie. Nick. At, Nick is with Emma. I have, I have and work Carrie, you can Mom. bring Eli up. Huh? Nick. All right. What? Lee's son, Nick. So, could we please have Nick? Oh, we could. Could we please have Nick too? Oh, Nick, you'll have to come with your family. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay there. He doesn't have to come. Come. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. Oh yay. Okay. So. First off, I want to say something special about Adriana in class. You know, she, um, she comes in and she's been really shy, but she's been very attentive. And she pays attention to everything. And you can tell that she's happy to be there. And, and it, it, there's just a sweet softness about her that, that you know that, that she cares about you and she's paying attention and she cares about God. <laughs> And she's paying attention to what God says. I think she has a crush on baby E.I. Oh. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Do That's you so want to go up and get a cake? Finally, again? girls. We're yeah. finally having baby girls. Yeah. 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 Hi, 
Hi, sweetheart. I have to say. Yay, we have a cap for, a cape for you. And I believe you are a visionary. So I'm speaking that over your life. Okay, let me get Edie and we'll do you. Come here, Edie. Okay. I just hear God saying that he's, you're going to actually hear his voice more. And that God is going to speak with you with such intent, but with so much love. And that you, like you're going to have, he's going to be your best friend. And I just really feel like you're, you're, the, the connection between you and God is going to run so deep. And just, that is your like treasure box right there. And, um, and I even see you dancing for him as well, like a ballerina. So just over, and he's dancing over you as well. And that he loves you. Okay, and I see this. You are, you're out of the box. You don't do everything the way that everybody else does it. And God likes that about you because he's, putting, he's put different ingredients inside of you on purpose. Your DNA is different. And so you're going to do things the way that God wants you to, but also your own way. You're your own person. You don't have to be like anybody else. And so he's put all kinds of colors inside of you that are going to come out when you speak words you're going to draw pictures for other people so that they can understand more about who they are in God also and so God is very proud of you and he has a huge future for you and he's happy that you came up here to hear from him today it's a big step all right all right baby thank you awesome 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 <gasps> All right, Babies, we have our heroes in training, <laughs> and nobody is left out of God's great love. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is baby Eli, but we call him E.I. because of Noah, and so that's what he calls him, baby E.I. Oh, oh gosh, I could just steal all of this. Who wants to prophesy to him? You, they want him. Okay. We want them. We want them. Hi, Eli. Hi, buddy. So what God's saying about Eli is that you just have almost like a rainbow. You're so diverse, and you have a little bit of everything in your little spirit. And as you grow, it'll go with you. And when people see that rainbow in your heart, they see hope. And your eyes just shine and radiate. Amen. I feel like God is saying that that He's going to be very sensitive to to hearing the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that God is God is going to use him as a sign <laughs> to and a sign and a, a wonder of God's goodness. Amen. Hey. Oh, Emma. Hello, my doll. Hello, my doll. Lee and Nick sent Emma up for a prophetic word, but Nick wants one too. Okay, good, good. Yeah, Nick is going to have one. I got you, Nick. Because, yes. Okay, who wants? Are you ready for us? Yep. Okay. Precious baby. Okay, so. We adore you. You were born in this church, too. Like, we I can't tell you how much we love you. But I feel like Jesus has such big plans for you. That's why he gave you so much energy. You're never, ever going to get tired of going after God yes. and going after what's yes. right. I feel like there's just a, a real deep sense of righteousness, and you're going to always yep. fight to see things be done right. Just yes. a whole anointing of justice mm -hmm. on your life. So I, I know that God is going to just work, even when you're really tiny, even in kindergarten, to make a difference even in your classrooms, and he's going to keep using you. And Nick, I feel, I did ask for you, because I go. feel like there's such okay, a huge bond between you and your baby sister, which isn't normal, because she's so much younger. But the minute that you held her, you were like, oh, this is my baby, and you have... <laughs> treasured her in your heart mm -hmm. and you are so proud of everything that she does um, God's going to keep that bond going because as she grows she's going to need you 
So when she reaches out to you, you're always going to be able to be there for her, and it's going to make her stronger woman of God, and it's going to make you a really, really proud older brother, and you're going to get a lot of satisfaction in watching her develop because you know so much of it's going to come from your heart and the efforts that you're putting into building her character as well. Nick, I got something for you. Um, you, the way that you, I just feel like you, you become protective of Emma. No. And the way, like almost like this fatherly figure. And I feel the same way that you are protective of him, of her, God is protective of you. Oh, that's good. And oh, God, that's good. God is saying that he has you wrapped. And that you're, he's going to feed you and that you're going to grow for persistence of the truth. And that's all that you want is the truth coming out. And, that, and that's what you're going to portray is truth. So I, I just feel that the love of, of God, he's going to just show you who he really is. Okay. Amen. And, um, Emma, hi, girl. I could do this all day. Yes. <laughs> Emma, I just feel you bring that house joy. Yeah. You just fill that whole house with joy and a newness and a refreshness of, of who God is and the, the spirit and the truth of who God is in their family. And I just feel that whatever you do, that you are going to bring joy, happiness, and you're just going to bring refreshing of the spirit to anyone you meet, everyone you touch, yeah, and everyone that you speak to, right? Amen. So we declare that. Yes. We declare that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How many of you want to thank the prophets for hearing from God for everyone? Amen. I'm so excited. Okay, I want to um, I want to thank you guys for for being so attentive. See those little clappers worked, didn't they? Yeah, they did. So, um, I want to remind the ladies because I haven't celebrated you yet, but I am next Sunday night. So, you want to come and I have special things arranged for you also and they are surprises, so I won't tell you what they are. But um, it's next Sunday. Young adults can come. But I'm going to show up also for the, for the youth. Okay. So, um, so Cindy. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Don. Thank you, team. And thank you to all of you for being attentive. You know, I love it that you're holding that in your heart. Because what we were doing today was building into the next generation and everyone in this church is part of that not just the super kids teachers but we are really proud of you super kids superheroes god is putting the super on your natural and we got a window of it today it's very exciting um i want to tell you what's next Women have to sign up, and Jane has the sign-up sheet. Oh. So that you didn't sign up. So she's waiting for me to announce that. Okay, now you can tell them what's next. Ladies, <laughs> please sign up because you don't want We, none of us want to miss that. All right, super kids, the, um, we have lunch for you today. We've got hot dogs and chips and, and no, but we got ice cream, ice cream. So, and not just for the kids, but for everybody we've got food for everybody so if your kid is younger you can go have lunch with them in the veggie tales room super kids you can go right now out these doors with justin and rachel and you are going to have lunch in your classroom and your parents can come see you there and adults we've got it all set up for you right here We've got a hot dog lunch and chips and specials and dessert. So we just want to say thank you. Pardon me. Please don't eat in the sanctuary. I, you know, we're just going to mill around and enjoy fellowship out in the open room. So God bless you. Oh, I need to pray. We need to pray over lunch. Dear Jesus, Thank you for lunch, and thank you for fun and friendship, and thank you for the next generation. Thank you for what you're building in our kids. In Jesus' name, amen. If you would like to support this ministry with a financial contribution, visit our website at www.LibertyLifeCenter.org. Find the link to the left that says, 
Donate Now and follow the instructions there. Thank you for being a part of what God is doing worldwide through this ministry.